Hello and welcome. My name is Mark Blatstein, the physician founder of Physician Pre-Sentence Report, Report Service. And good time credit is done at 54 days a year if you've, one, earned your GED, two, you've made satisfactory pros progress towards reaching your DED, and third, you've avoided all sorts of disciplinary infractions. Good time credit can also be taken away. And it can be taken away for good cause after it's given in these two examples. First, for participation in a riot, food strike, work stoppage, any sort of violent behavior. Second, misbehavior where the Bureau of Prison staff only learn about it after the good time credit was given. So the good time credit, you can get it, but it can be taken away. So what's one example? One example can be using someone's cell phone. And in a you know low point, you borrow someone's cell phone, you make a phone call, you're you know, your, your sentence, maybe halfway through your sentence, you get called to the, either to the BOP correction staff office or whomever. And they say, we found your phone number on your call log that matches the phone number on the cell phone. And what can you say about this? And you're, you're faced with either, you know, telling the correction staff whose cell phone it is or losing all your credits, maybe getting another charge. And so it's not a pathway that I would suggest anyone go down. This is just one example. So simply put, how does it work? For an example, if you have a term of five years, it's going to that will equal approximately 1,826 days. Federal sentences, different than state, are served at approximately 85%. So if at the beginning of each year, this 54 days of good time credit is, um, is applied at the beginning of the year. So if you take 365 days minus... 54 days of good time credit, that's going to mean that you're going to serve 311 days of every 365. 311 days times five years is 1,555 days until you get released. So how did that come about? Is that if in fact you have a traditional five-year sentence, that's going to equal 1,826 days at 15% is where you come up with the figure of 1,555 days that you'll spend in prison until release. And that is before First Step Act credit or earn time credits through the First Step Act, if you're eligible for RDAP, Second Chance Act. So I'm hoping that this one example of how good time credits are applied and what you need to get them and how you can lose them and how they're implemented at last. I hope you have found this YouTube helpful. I appreciate again you taking the time to listen in. Stay safe and have a good day.